Hello, my name's Phoenix. I've got about 30 seconds. The government wants to criminalise squatting. They want to basically uh, bring in a law next year criminalising trespass. It will affect our rights to protest. It will right, affect our rights to shelter. It will affect a lot of different groups all across this country. Uh, there is a group called squashcampaign.org you can get more details from. We squatted and occupied an exhibition centre for Save Our Squatting Exhibition, two to four Tufnell Park Road behind the Odeon and Holloway Road. Save Our Squatting, this affects your right to shelter, your right to trespass and your right to protest. Union students all occupy places and use the rights to protest, right to squatting. Save Our Squats, one love, keep that working. Viva the occupation, a thousand cities around the world occupied. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, just really like to ask uh, if there's any other working groups, especially outreach, that want to speak uh, tonight. Please come up now. Right, okay, we've got somebody from outreach. Uh, can you speak? International outreach, sorry. We are creating a working group of international outreach to get in touch with the different assemblies around the world and we've been meeting uh, during the last two days. We are creating uh, a group or a way to get organized and we are figuring out which platform we are going to use and we will keep you informed about that. If anybody wants to get involved in this, we are going to be at the information point after the General Assembly, so we can talk to me or Antonio, another guy, so uh, he's right here, so if, if, yeah, so thank you very much, and yeah. Thank you. Uh, there's somebody who wants uh, to talk to about, about uh, the university group, uh, are they here? Yeah. Right, okay, just coming up. Hi everyone. Um, I'm from the university group. What's your name? Manal! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we actually started our university group meetings today. As we said yesterday, every single day we're gonna have a lecture at six, yeah? Which will last for half an hour and then a discussion just before the uh, general assembly starts. So if you have ideas for speakers, please email us at uh, City Tent University at oh Tent City University at gmail.com. Today we had a fantastic meeting called Imperialism and War, and it was really well attended and people were responsive. So please come to our um, find us. Um, we're gonna have a marquee. We're gonna have a, a space. But meanwhile, when we don't have this space, we will be by the library. Yeah. So at six. Tomorrow we are having a lecture on um, uh, neoliberalism and um, the ex and the crisis. Yeah, so come and find us there. Thank you. Hi. Uh, thank you very much. We've got uh, John next uh, from the outreach group who wants to speak to us. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Uh, yes, the uh, outreach and publicity group is uh, producing the leaflets which you've seen here, these ones here with the eight point uh, initial statement and in, uh, information about how to contact uh, Occupy London. Uh, we are going to have uh, thousands of them ready, uh, printed by uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, so if you'd like to help out in, uh, uh, with, with outreach and publicity, uh, contact us. We meet 10 o'clock every morning under the Capitalism is Crisis banner. Uh, we are going to be organizing an outreach event on Saturday afternoon um, here with uh, speakers and music and poetry. Right, next uh, we're going to go back to Hannah who's going to give us uh, the statement that we've got so far. And, uh, so we all know what's been done so far. Okay, thanks. Hi, yes, this is this, this stage where we all listen to the statement that was thrashed out in the General Assembly a couple of days ago. I'm not going to read it. Would anyone like to volunteer from the crowd to come up and read it? <laughs> really? Yay! All right, go on then. 
You only, you only have to one then. Yeah, you both do it. You go one, odds and evens. We've got nine points. Just this is. Sorry again if you've heard it loads before, but it's pretty brilliant, really. The current system is unsustainable. It is undemocratic and unjust. We need alternatives. This is where we work towards them. We are of all ethnicities, backgrounds, genders, generations, and Generation X, <laughs> sexualities, disabilities, and faiths, and no faiths. We stand together with occupations all over the world. We refuse to pay for the bank's crisis. We do not accept the cuts as either necessary or inevitable. We demand an end to global tax injustices and our democracy representing corporations instead of the people. We want regulators to be genuinely independent of the industries they regulate. Yes. We support the strike on the 30th of November and the student action on the 9th of November and actions to defend our health services, welfare, education and employment and to stop wars and arms dealing. We want structural change towards authentic global equality. The world's resources must go towards caring for people and the planet, not the military, corporate profits or the rich. We stand in solidarity with the global oppressed and we call for an end to the actions of our government and others in causing this oppression. This is what democracy looks like. Come and join us! this on the agenda before we did develop it in the process group there's been a lot of worries um today about what uh, about the way people have been acting in the evening sometimes some people are trying to sleep here some people are making causing noise and leaving rubbish and this is something that i'm not proposing we work out how to fix it right now it's just sort of a heads up that this is something that there's been mumbling in the group um, and something that we'd really like to get sorted out. It's something that we, um, we, we're we going to have a little bit of space to hear from people who've been disturbed at night. If there is anyone here who'd like to make a brief little point about that. I mean, if the bell's going off every 15 minutes from a charitable institution, that's not very charitable to people trying to sleep, you know? I think the church just turn the bells off for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, we're going to have like uh, three more points, but I'd ask if we could have experiences from people who were staying here, who have stayed here for a night and felt either really like they've really enjoyed people being noisy or they've really not enjoyed it. Yeah. Um that, I believe, is a building in which a number of Church of England clergy are living in. And uh, last night, a couple of nights ago, there was some quite loud shouting, which um, very offensive words were banded around, which we thought was a fight kicking off, and a load of us rushed out to see if we could subdue someone. Um, that's full of clergy. Don't strain our relationships with the Church of England, please. <laughs> is to hear people's personal experiences of what the night was like so we can all hear what that was like. Hi. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anybody's fun, but um, I, heard people making, I heard people making loads of noise last night and I didn't want to spoil anybody's fun, but the, the truth of it was I didn't get much sleep at all. 
and that's kind of affected how I've been working. Um, and I'm, I'm tired and I can't concentrate and uh, I've sort of gone off track a bit. And I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to stay focused. And I just appreciate if people really had some respect and kept the noise down after a certain time. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, so we've got we've got space for one more person to give their personal experiences of uh, what it's like to sleep here at, at night. If there's someone at the back who wants to speak, could they come? Either could the people sit down or could they come to the front? Do you want to come come forward? I'm gonna like come to meet you. <coughs> that's, that's as far as it goes. <laughs> Hi, I, I totally don't want to be a killjoy or anything, but me and my friend have been staying since Saturday, um, and we've been trying to put on workshops and sort of contributing to the camp, but it's been really difficult because obviously you can't get to sleep until really late and then you get woken up really early and it's totally affected the level of productivity today. Like we were going to put on a couple of workshops today and we just felt that we haven't had the energy to do it. And I can't speak on behalf of everybody, but if everyone's feeling like this, the camp is going to be really like low-key, not productive, not doing anything. Um, but maybe logistically, the, the band, which was amazing by the way, and everyone singing was awesome, but um, it just doesn't really make sense to have it right next to the tents when the other side of the steps, <coughs> nobody is camping. So maybe move it 